Community View. It's all about you, your health, your wealth, your entertainment, your government, current affairs and safety. What we have dealt with in Arizona has given us a good foundation. If it impacts your life, we'll talk about it on Community View. Sunday afternoons at 2.30 or anytime at www.acdhh.org. With us, we have Deanne Deaton. She is the producer of The Community View and public relations and planning organizer with the Arizona Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. She started with our agency and I'd like to welcome Deanne to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, let's see, you've been with us since April. I know that you have been extremely busy. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing since April? Well, we've been revamping the show. Um, you'll probably notice that we've got a new look. Um, thank you very much, Pruitts, for sponsoring that. Um, and we are trying to bring a more quality of life, uh, bring it more of the show into a lot, a lot of different types of guests that you might not have seen in the past. Uh, so we've been working really hard in that area. Um, we've got some exciting things coming up uh, in October where we're going to have a Makeover Madness contest and we are looking for participants to get involved with that. We've also got the governor coming on. Governor, during your State of the State address in January of 2003, you characterized the condition of Arizona as grim, with budget deficits of $1.3 billion, a struggling educational system, weak economy, and a state that wondered if Arizona, you know, particularly Arizona's state government, could get anything right. Has this improved? Oh, I think we've made great strides in the last few years. As, as you mentioned in the introduction, uh, we've eliminated the budget deficit. We're now running a surplus. I think the caution for us now is to not go on a wild spending spree, but to be very smart about how we manage our money. This year you faced gasoline interruptions, fires, electric shortages, and are now assisting hurricane evacuees. How is Arizona addressing natural disasters and dealing with supply and demand issues? Well, we, in fact, uh, I just came from a meeting with our uh, emergency group, but what we have dealt with in Arizona has given us a good foundation should we face the kind of catastrophic event like a, Ka a Katrina or a Rita. There's another sign that I would like to teach the state legislatures when they go back into session. <laughs> Maybe you can learn it and use it as well, okay? It'll be nice for you to learn. Okay. I'm going to ask the interpreter to not voice this part, okay, until I've finished. Okay, so I just follow what you do. Yes. Okay. What you just learned to uh -huh. sign uh -huh. is more money, please. <laughs> <laughs> I agree totally. I agree totally. Prior to joining Arizona Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, what have you? What were you doing? What's your background? I've been in uh, marketing for about 18 years, and I was also doing event coordinating for about 10 years, and and also I was the doing public relations for uh, six years. How many years is that? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I've been in that realm for quite some time where we're doing a lot of promotion and working with the media. Um, and that's been my focus. I've, prior to working with the Arizona Commission, I was working with the Department of Weights and Measures, another state agency, promoting them. <laughs> Welcome back to Wake Up. We have Deanna Deaton and Sean Marquez here from the Arizona Department's, uh, Department of Weights and Measures. These guys, along with the people you work with, take care of making sure all the scales in your grocery stores, they make sure that the uh, machines at the gas station are giving you the appropriate amount of what you're paying for. If you, order t if you pay for 10 gallons of gas, are you really getting 10 gallons of gas? And that's where the Arizona Department of Weights and Measures comes in. And actually, you guys are here to tell the consumer that in some ways, you need their help. You need, you, with the, the 16 inspectors you have full time and the three part time, you can't be everywhere all the time. So, what are some of the things that consumers can do? Whether, let's start maybe at the grocery store. We, you mentioned write down the price. Right. When you're shopping, first thing you want to do is bring ads with you when you mm -hmm. shop. 
Um, write down prices. Ask for a pin if you don't have one. Uh, you can write right on the item if you need to. Oh, you can write mm -hmm. on the item. Yes, and if you get up to the scan, if you get up to the checkout counter and a price scans wrong, speak up and ask for their written scanning error policy because all retailers have to have one. And what is that? It's basically a policy telling you what they will do for you if a price scans wrong. And that can be anything from thank you very much for bringing it to our attention to thank you very much, you get this item for free. It really varies on really? the policy. So it, it could be to your benefit, mm -hmm. uh, really greatly to your benefit mm -hmm. by speaking up because say you scan the steak and it didn't scan right. Exactly. You could actually get the item free. Do many grocery stores do that? I know Fry's has their policy. Uh, that's their policy. If it scans it wrong, been. you get it free? Right, but I'm not yeah. sure of the other, and the only reason I know that is I was in Fry's Recently. Yesterday, yeah, and I saw the policy and they had it up on their shelf talker. Do you as a consumer have, um, can you file a complaint with your office and will something be done about it? Absolutely. Or do they get kind of thrown into a pile? No, no, we take complaints very seriously. They're put up on the top of our list. I mean, consumers are our eyes and ears and since we have such a small staff, we really rely on consumers to call us and tell us uh, when they think there's a problem occurring and some uh, certain things they can be doing to make, sh to check uh, well, before they call is to make sure they get the receipt um, because that's going to give us a lot of information about the situation like the store's name, the actual physical address, uh, what cash occurred. register used probably. Right. Or the dispenser used if they're at the gas pump, mm -hmm. uh, which is always a good idea. Um, and it, it helps us out a lot if they can be specific on when it happened. And the sooner they call us, the better, especially when it, when it comes to gas issues because gas changes at, dis at, at stations quite a bit. They're always redoing the tank, filling up the tanks and you know, getting new gas in. And you, we talked a little bit about topping off at the gas pump and people right. think, okay, if I top off the tank and then I want to go back, you know, maybe I'll, I'll buy myself another day before I have to fill up again. Why do you say that is so bad? Well, topping off, going back is uh, when you continue to fill up your tank and it keeps on, you keep on clicking the, yeah. the dispenser. Uh, one of the reasons why it's so bad, or it can be bad, is because that gasoline is probably not going into your gas tank, but back into the underground storage tanks. So in um, other words, the more gas you pump, it's going to stop when it's full, and it's going to start refilling back into the gas station pump. It starts to siphon pump. back. Mm -hmm. Your total immersion week that you oh, just did? Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm a hearing person, and I, and I, was, I came out of the womb, basically, talking and hearing and I'm very I've always been very auditory and for uh, the entire week you know one of my goals is to learn sign and total immersion was the most amazing um, experience I've probably ever gone through in which I actually had to shut up for an entire week <laughs> and not say a word and really experience that silence um, but not where we were we were I was with a group of about 40 people and they were um, all you'd ever hear is laughter, you know, which was, for a hearing person, was very odd to be in a huge room and he conversations going on all over the place, but I can't hear them, <laughs> you know. I could just hear them laughing and it, what was really interesting was how fast I picked up a lot of the different signs um, and how my inner voice became so loud. Um, by the <laughs> second day where I got to the point where I, I didn't know if I was actually signing or talking by the end of the week. Um, let's talk a little bit about your vision um, with the agency um, for Community View, the agency I in general, you know, how do you see making improvements? Um, one of the projects that we're working on is to teach the sign of the week uh, with the Arizona Relay program which would be on CBS 5 another network where I don't know if we're supposed to be talking about that but it's it's kind of exciting because uh, we're going to be promoting American Sign Language every morning for the next 12 months and that should be rolling out in the next couple of months but I think it's going to be a great awareness piece now for the sign of the week to learn more visit sign of the week on kbho.com one of my biggest visions or hopes is to really bring uh, the deaf, uh, issue, deaf community's issues to the forefront so that when we have 
uh, with Community View, you know, uh, leaders that are coming on the show that may not be aware of, of uh, the issues and, and the concerns that the community has, we're going to be able to enlighten them in a sense, you know, and bring it to the forefront and, and be a voice. And, you know, we've taken the show um, online now. If you, whenever you want to watch this show, then you can, uh, you know, go online on our website at um, acdhh.org and go to the uh, calendar of events and click on it and it'll be on for the next five years. So we're going to start creating a library of shows and people can go back and watch when they want. And I think that's one of my biggest hopes is that we become very accessible uh, and our message get out very quickly.